All right. Well, good morning, everyone. This is Tom Vukovic with Insurance Network America. We'd like to welcome everyone and thank you for joining us today for a call on strategies for positioning annuities. If I may be so bold, um, I want to say that you made the right choice today by choosing to participate with us for a number of reasons. Uh, one of them being that our favorite guest speaker today is none other than Casey Lane, Sales Vice President from North American Annuities. And if I may have fun for just a quick moment, rumor has it that his sales ideas are so sought after that North American has commissioned a third party to craft a Casey Lane bobblehead. So um, my thought is, uh, Casey, perhaps um, we could send out a Casey Lane bobblehead to everyone that submits a North American application in the month of November. What do you think about that? Nobody wants my bobblehead on their desk, Tom. Nobody does. Not even me. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. Okay, so all seriousness, um, Casey's going to share some excellent strategies with us today, some concepts that you can use for positioning annuities for your clients. That is our goal. Uh, in addition to that, Casey plans to share some key selling points to why the North American Versa Choice is the hottest selling annuity right now. And a couple of points, a couple of key points without stealing his thunder is it's strong accumulation features for clients, it's enhanced liquidity provisions, and also the inverse performance trigger, only to name a few. Uh, if, if anyone's seen the market recently, um, you know, obviously the talk of our record bull run, um, this is very key right now, uh, you know, and if you look at yesterday's uh, performance in the market with the tech stocks and uh, this is absolutely something you need to take a look at for your clients. It's it's an idea that would resonate with them, I'm sure. So again, we realize that you're taking time out of your busy schedules to join us. We certainly understand that and take that to heart. So it's always our intent to make these calls impactful for you and your practice. Uh, for all the familiar names on the call today, I want to sincerely thank you for your partnership and your business. For those of you on the call that are not yet contracted with North American and INA, my ask of you is to give us the opportunity to earn your business. Uh, during today's call, if you have questions, uh, please submit them on the GoToWebinar menu uh, that is up on your screen there. Uh, we will take a few minutes to answer questions at the end of the presentation. Um, if you have someone specific in mind, if you have additional questions beyond this, um, write this number down, 800-456. 7999. That is our number here at INA. Uh, you should be able to see it there on the screen as well. Um, so at this point, um, I'm very happy to introduce Casey Lane, Sales Best President for North American. Casey, thank you. Tom, thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that uh, introduction. And let's get uh, let's get going here. Make sure. We got that. I don't think uh, neither Tom or I are technological geniuses, so I just want to make sure, Tom, is my main screen showing there right now? Yep, I can I can see it perfectly. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that, Tom. And thanks again for the introduction. Uh, most importantly, thank you folks for taking time out of your day uh, and away from your own clients and prospects to to be here and join us. You know, you're you're all independent agents that work on commissions, so for you to take yeah, you know, four or five hours to listen to this web. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to spend four or five hours. But for you to take, you know, 45 minutes or so out of your busy schedule and away from those clients and prospects is certainly appreciated. Uh, thank you, Tom and, and Insurance Network America for giving me the opportunity to be on the webinar today. More importantly, thank you guys for being a true partner with North American, not only annuities, but also North American life insurance. I got a lot of stuff to go through here with you guys uh, today, so let's go ahead. We're going to jump right in, and I know uh, I, I, I do this presentation, obviously, in front of uh, uh, agents as well. I can't see anybody, uh, obviously, through my screen now, but I'm going to ask, just like I would if I was in front of you in a, in a live situation, um, raise your hand if you have clients or prospects that maybe are, are looking for just a, a good accumulation opportunity in a, in a safe product, safe investment, if you will. What about clients maybe that are concerned about tying their money up in, uh, you know, having their money tied up in case there's an emergency or an, an unexpected event happens? 
do you have any clients that are concerned about future health care needs, such as, you know, what if I uh, have to go into an assisted living facility? What if I need, you know, home health care? What happens if I'm confined? You know, can this thing benefit me? Is there something out there that I can take advantage of? Or do you have clients that just want the peace of mind to know no matter what happens, whenever it happens, they have a source of funds that is 100% liquid that they can access. So if you answered yes to any one of those or all, maybe all of those, maybe you have questions, your clients that fit every single one of those questions, look no further than the Versa Choice Index annuity. So when you think of the name or look at the name, when you see that Versa Choice, uh, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? And I can tell you what comes to my mind and it's something we've done probably for the last three product introductions, the, the, the three newest index annuities that we've rolled out over the course of the last three, four, five years, is we've named the product after its purpose, after the design. So if you think of VersaChoice, think about versatility, versatile product. This product's going to cover a lot of different needs and wants and wishes of your clients and prospects. So we're going to spend a little time talking about the product, but also positioning it and more importantly, how to approach those specific clients. However, let's let compliance say hello first. A couple of slides from them in there. I think they've only got two on this one. Yeah, they do, excellent. Okay, so this product, just FYI, was rolled out just over a year ago. We rolled this out, I think it was October 10th or 12th of 2017. This is now, year to date, our number three selling index, or three, number three selling annuity, and the last two months, it's been our top selling product. And, and there's, there's good reasons for that. Good reasons why it's our number three selling product and why it's been our number one product for the last couple of uh, months here. And you're gonna see exactly that as we go through this. And I'm not gonna tell you this is the right product for every single client or prospect. It's not, no, no product is, no company's best for everybody, but know that this certainly will have a fit or will fit a certain number of your clientele and your prospects. So the question I always get, Casey, so who, who is a prospect? Who should I be talking to about the Versa Choice product? Well, first of all, anybody that's a candidate for an index annuity, that, that's number one. We gotta make sure that the, an index annuity will be the right fit for them. Once we've determined that they're a candidate for an index annuity, more, more specifically, do you have clients, kind of I, as I mentioned in the, in the get-go, do you have clients that are just looking for good accumulation opportunities? They might not need guaranteed lifetime income. They're just, you know, wanting something to put their money in and maybe down the road they can take a little bit here or there and just spend it as they want to. Do you have clients that are concerned about future health needs and health care costs down the road? You're going to see where the Versa Choice fits very well with those clients. And what about clients that just are looking for the peace of mind features and benefits for maybe the, the unexpected? We all know we all have a plan, right? <laughs> and, and our retirement plan might be hopefully everybody's retirement plan is, you know, 20, 30, 40 years. We know along the way there's going to be a bump or two, a road bump, right, a, a roadblock. Uh, the unexpected might happen. We'll talk about how the Versa Choice, you can position it to help those or answer those specific needs. And then the last one um, is for clients looking for guaranteed lifetime income. Now, I do want to point out a couple of things here. Um, there are a couple of riders that individually can be added to this product, and we'll cover one of them, just for time purposes and for the fact that of all the Versa Choice business that has been issued, only 5% have added our Income Pay Plus rider to provide that guaranteed lifetime income. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in today's, in today's uh, webinar. I am gonna talk about the first, the first bubble over here, the first client, 35, per, excuse me, 30% of clients, <clears throat> excuse me, are purchasing this without any riders. They're just using this as a pure accumulation vehicle. 65% are adding a rider that we'll talk about that will cover the middle two clientele. So 95% of the business that we've seen issued covers these three bubbles. But do know you can get guaranteed lifetime income by adding the Income Pay Plus rider as well. All right, let's talk about that first prospect, that client that's just looking for pure accumulation. And I'm showing you the rate screen because really, uh, if we're talking about accumulation, it's going to be dictated by what the rates are. Um, and I, I will point out, as I always do, um, North American, we're not always going to have the highest current 
first year rates. Um, we're not always going to have the you know a 60% participation rate. We're not going to have a, a 8% annual point to point cap. We're not going to be that company that always has the highest first year rates. Where we will shine is that we do the best we can on treating our enforced policyholders as fairly as we can. There's been years where we've, many years where we've raised clients' renewal rates from one year to the next. There's been a number of years where we've had to decrease clients' renewal rates as well. But keep in mind, just because one company may illustrate better than us because they have a higher current rate, doesn't mean that that company's always going to be paying that higher current rate. You know as well as I do, clients contractually can lower their renewal rates to their minimum contractual guarantees. And we've seen some companies kind of doing that in the past. I, I don't name names. That's not our motto. We're in this to pass as much on to the policyholder as we can. So with that, here's the current rates on the Versa Choice. One thing you'll notice if you've done business with us over the years, you're not going to see the multitude of various indices that we've had, or we have on some of our other older products. We've simplified the index and crediting method lineup to those that we see premium being allocated to. By that, I mean, we, yes, we have on some other products the, the Dow Jones uh, Indice. We have a Russell 2000 Index. We have an S&P 400 Index. We have an index tied to the NASDAQ. We have a gold index. We have a Hang Seng. We have a lot of diversification opportunities on some older products, but when you look at where the premium is being allocated to, Overall, about 93% is being allocated to some S&P 500 index, whether that's the low volatility control, whether it's the multi-asset risk control strategy, or whether it's just the plain S&P 500 index. That's where the brunt of our allocations have been going over the years. Hence, we simplified the Versa choice to see you have a recognized family of funds or indices available within this product. Right, everybody knows the S&P 500. They see it every single day. So here are the current rates. You're going to notice there's a high band and a low band. That's a $75,000 premium to get to the high band rates. And just for kicks and giggles, because I can only see that portion of my screen here, uh, there's some pretty competitive rates: 6% annual point-to-point -point cap, 235 monthly point-to-point -point cap. And I do want to point out that three of those strategies, three of the strategies are what we would call uncapped strategies, right? And we'll all highlight those here real quick. Those three are strategies where we do not apply a cap to the upside. And the reason I highlight these, I'm not highlighting these because these are the best ones. I mean, no, unless you have a crystal ball, I don't, can't tell you which indice, which crediting method is going to be the best one year over year because we just don't know. But if you are looking at this for pure accumulation, I would encourage you to allocate at least some of the premium to one or more of the strategies where we don't apply that cap. So you're not limiting, limiting that upside potential. So let's look at an actual illustration. This is one page of, I think we have their 12 or 13 page illustrations. So on our illustrations, what we do is we look back over a 20 year period. So we, we use the NAIC model illustration regulation, utilizing the strategy or crediting method that, that you allocate to we look back over a 20 year period and we will show you the most recent 10 year period. We'll show you the highest 10 year consecutive period of the last 20. And we'll show you the worst or the lowest 10 year consecutive 10 years in the last 20. And that's what we're gonna show you on our illustrations. So here's a quick screenshot summary. This is allocating 100% to one of those uncapped strategies. It was the Mark 5, S&P 500 Mark 5 index. I don't know if you noticed, but the Mark V high band has a 0% margin, our spread. So that, what that means is if, if that indice goes up 7% this year, Mrs. Client, you're going to get a 7% interest credit because there's no margin or spread in this currently being deducted. So here's the all-in, and I'm going to just blow up these, these effective annual 10-year uh, returns on those three scenarios. And you can see, looking back, the most recent 10 years, had you been all-in to this strategy, and that margin would have stayed at zero, you would have received a 5.88% effective annual compounding uh, interest credit. The lowest, you would have gotten a 4.21%. And the highest, you will see, if assuming that margin stayed where it was, you would have received 7.16% annual compounding return to your accumulation value. Those are pretty good returns for an index annuity. I mean, that's, that's probably even above, you know, what these things are supposed to do. So pretty decent upside opportunity. But again, that's going all into one strategy. 
Can you do that? Absolutely. You can put all your premium into the fixed account if you want to. You can put it all in the annual point-to-point cap. You can do what you want to. But I wanted to show you the effect of doing a little bit of blending. And this is just going 50-50. This is allocating to two different strategies. One's the Mark V, and the other is just the straight S&P 500 index. And the point I want to show you here is that, hey, bottom line, when we look at the overall effective returns over the, in those different scenarios, there's not that much of a difference. 560 on the most recent, 380 to 625 on the high. So not a big difference from what we just saw. But the nice thing what happens with blending is that you eliminate some of those zero years more than you do when you're going, when you're going all in and all your eggs in one basket by diversifying or blending, because one year, one strategy is going to do well, the other one or two may not. Next year, this other strategy might do well, and this one or two may not. By blending and diversifying, you, you're going to uh, uh, get yourself a lot more years without those zeros. And I know the saying, zero is our hero, which is true. That's one of the huge benefits of an index annuity. But you know as well as I do, clients tend to forget that 365 days uh, ago, you told them that zero is their hero, right? All they know is that, hey, my wife who bought the same policy, it was just issued two days you know, before mine, she got a 7% interest credit and I got a zero. Well, I don't understand what happened. You know as well as I do, having to explain those zeros causes a lot of headaches, even though zeros are hero. So think about doing some diversification. Think about doing some blending on your next. I don't, I don't care if it's with North American or ABC company. Diversify, do a little blending amongst different strategies within those products. All right, that was the accumulation uh, client. Pretty straight up, pretty simple, pretty easy. Great accumulation opportunity with diverse choice. What about those clients that are concerned either about future health needs, you know, assisted living, nursing home type stuff, uh, and or just want the peace of mind benefits to know that, hey, if something happens, or maybe if it's, maybe it's an unexpected or maybe it's an expected uh, thing, can this product help me in any way, shape, or form? And the answer is yes. By adding what we call the enhanced liquidity benefit rider, you're going to provide your client up to four additional benefits. And, and I'll clarify what I mean by up to. This rider has to be issued at the time of issue. The minimum issue age, by the way, is 40. And it's going to cost 50 basis points. This one rider provides, again, up to four additional benefits for 50 basis points. And I think when you see these in a little more detail and how these can benefit your policyholders, that 50 bips is going to be a, a, a mute point. Now, again, I want to make sure we're clear. This is one rider, four additional benefits, 50 basis points. Not a separate fee for each of these four that you see on your screen. And we're going to cover these things one by one, and we're going to start on the left-hand side of the screen and start over here with the, uh, on the stack side, starting with the enhanced penalty-free withdrawal. So everybody that adds the enhanced liquidity benefit rider is going to receive these two benefits on the left-hand side of the screen. I'll talk about one question, knockout question, that may preclude them from the two benefits on the right. But everybody that purchases this gets these two benefits, the enhanced penalty-free withdrawal. Let's take a look at that first. One of the main complaints that we hear our clients uh, contend about annuities is I'm tying my money up. I don't have access. I can't get to my money. What if something happens? Well, most products, as we know, have some form of penalty-free withdrawal, whether it's 5%, 7%, 10% of premium, of account value. Most annuities have some penalty-free withdrawal that you can access your money if something happens or if you want to. With the optional enhanced liquidity benefit rider, what happens is that, that enhanced penalty-free withdrawal becomes not only 10% of your accumulation uh, value is available, but if you don't use it in that year, next year it will accumulate to 20% of your accumulation value. So here's an example. I just did a, a screenshot of an illustration where a client, I think this would happen to be in the sixth year, the client said, you know what? Uh, maybe I want to help pay for my granddaughter and grandson's college education. You know, what, how much can I get out of this thing without having any penalties? Well, Mrs. Client, looking at the most recent scenario here, based on current rates, your $250,000 of premium would have grown to $345,000 in that six year. You can take 20% because you haven't, you haven't used anything yet. You can take 20% of that or $69,000 penalty-free, do whatever you want with it. 
Again, whether it's for an expected purchase or whether it's an unexpected emergency, hospital bill, whatever it might be, the client can get up to 20%. Now, if, and, and let's assume in this example, they took the 69,000, next year, it reverts back to 10% of the accumulation value. And if you don't use it that year, the following year, it will bump back up to 20%. So basically every other year, you know that you can access 20% of your accumulation value for emergencies, for expected purchases or expenses, whatever it might be. So again, it overcomes that objection of, hey, well, I'm tying all my money up. I, you know, I can't get to this thing. You know, I can get my interest out on my CD. Well, okay, you can get up to 20% of your accumulation value in this product with this enhanced penalty-free withdrawal. That's one of the benefits. The second benefit, again, that comes automatically with the rider for everybody is a return of premium feature. And I, I can tell you that this feature in and of itself, uh, when you look at some other products out there for 50 basis points, this is worth it in and of itself. As it says, as, as the benefit says, if the client any time after the second contract year needs or wants their money back, worst case scenario, we will give them back 100% of the premium they put in the contract. So what will happen is they will get the greater of the cash surrender value or worst case return a premium. And I say that because, you know, if it's maybe in the fourth year, we, we, we might have had four good years of interest credits. Maybe your cash surrender value, maybe the, the uh, uh, accumulation value after the surrender charge is actually still more than what you put in. You're going you're gonna to get the greater of. But the worst case scenario, Mrs. Client, no matter what, North American will give you 100% of the premium you put in the contract, no questions asked. And that also still, that does include the 50 basis point fee that we've taken out of the accumulation value also. You give us 100,000 anytime after a year two, worst case scenario, we'll give you $100,000 back, no questions asked. Again, another nice peace of mind benefit for, hey, what if down the road or my circumstances might change. So again, a nice peace of mind benefit. Those are pretty simple, pretty easy. On the right-hand side of the screen, these benefits uh, I can tell you are also driving a lot of the sales in this product. These two benefits, as you can see, they're ADL-based, Activities of Daily Living benefits. The one and only question that we ask to determine if you are eligible for those benefits is on the application, there is a question that says, at this time, at the time of application, are you able to perform all six activities of daily living? If the client checks yes, those two benefits are available to them. Those will be a part of that rider as well. That's the only question. There's no underwriting. There's no other health questions. It's simply, at this time, are you able to perform all six activities of daily living? If they check yes, they get, all, they get those other two benefits as well. If they check no, they still get the enhanced penalty-free withdrawal and the return of premium. Those are still available to them, just not those ADL-based features. And by the way, these ADL-based features are first-to-market features out there in the industry. Let's talk about the top one first. And by the way, let me make sure we're clear too. Those, those ADL-based features and benefits, they're not meant to replace uh, you know, an assisted living type policy or home health care policy or nursing home policy. If a client already has those things, don't, don't cancel those things just because of the benefits that you'll see here. These are just meant to be nice additional features in addition to maybe things that clients have. And you folks know better than I do, not everybody can get long-term care, nursing home, assisted living insurance, right? <laughs> I mean, they're not eligible for it. And if they can, nowadays, a lot of clients can't afford to pay the premiums or they don't just don't want to pay the premiums. I'll self-insure, right? I'm sure you hear that a lot as well. Well, it's more expensive than you think. So let's take a look at these two benefits and let's start with the top one, the ADL-based surrender charge waiver. Now, most annuities have some form of nursing home waiver where if you are confined to a nursing home or qualified care facility, you can access the accumulation value. You know, I don't know, not every policy is 100%, but some, some might be 50% of your account value. Some might say, yeah, you can take as little or as much as you want, but it requires confinement. This feature is, as it says, an ADL-based surrender charge waiver. So, Mrs. Client, if at any time after the policy is issued, you cannot perform two of six activities of daily living, 
you can access your accumulation value 100% penalty free, no questions asked. Again, not confined, just if you cannot perform two of six activities of daily living, you can take as little or as much of your accumulation value penalty free as you want to. So again, not a confinement, it's an ADL based waiver of the accumulation value. And again, it's any time after the policy's issued. Now, the question I always get, well, okay, Casey, so what if the client is, uh, what if the client's in an assisted living facility? Does, does this work? As long, again, remember, it's ADL based. If, if, even if they're at home, even if they're in a nursing home, if they're not able to perform two of six activities of daily living, as indicated by a physician, they, they are eligible for the, the surrender charge waiver because of those benefits. Doesn't matter where they're at, when it happens, as long as it's after issue, they're available to access the surrender value or cash value penalty free. Again, a nice peace of mind feature because your clients, I'm sure today probably are more concerned about those types of situations and, and healthcare needs and wants than maybe even you know, lifetime income. Next ADL based benefit. Again, not able to perform two of six ADLs. This benefit is an enhanced payout of the accumulation value. So what this means is it doesn't matter when you can't perform the two of six ADLs, this feature is available starting after the second contract year. Again, it's not that you have to not able to perform them after the second year. You can maybe in the first year you, you can't perform two of six. In the second year, in the third year, starting in the third year is when you can access this particular feature. All right. Anytime after the second year, if you can't perform two of six ADLs, we will pay you. If you choose this feature, we will pay you an enhanced payout of your accumulation value over a five year period. On the screen is the enhancement based on the contract year that you elect this benefit. So Mrs. Client, let's assume that in the third contract year, something happens, you're not able to perform two of six activities of daily living. At that point in time, you can, you can utilize the surrender charge waiver feature we just talked about. You can take as little or as much of your contract value as you want to, or if you'd like, at that point in time, we'll pay you 110% of whatever your accumulation value is at that point over a five year period. Now the question I get is, okay, well, Casey, do I mean, do I have to use this in the year that I can't perform the ADLs? And they, again, the answer is no. You may not have been able to perform those activities of daily living in the first year, but maybe you wait till the sixth year to trigger this benefit. If you wait until the sixth year, as you can see, at that point in time, we will pay you 125% of your accumulation value over a five year period. So the nice thing about this is you can you can use the surrender waiver and maybe take a little bit here and there if you need it, if you can't perform the two six ADLs early in the contract. And if you like the idea of getting 20 or 25 percent basically returns over a five year period, that's not too bad. That's better than a five year SPI, I'll tell you that right now. And it's better than a five year multi year guarantee or a five year uh, CD, better than a five year multi year guarantee annuity for that matter. So it's again a nice benefit. It's a nice feature for the client that says, you know what? Let's take advantage of this. Let's let's take let's use North American's money. That's what we're doing is we're giving you 10, 15, 20, or 25 percent more than what you've got in the contract value if you take it over five years. If you do utilize this benefit, basically what you have done is you have annuitized the contract over a five-year period. At that point in time, there's no uh, there's no ADL waiver of surrender charges. There's no return of premium because you have basically annuitized the contract over five years. The question I also get then is, hey, so Casey, what happens if I do this and the client dies in the third year of the five years? Does North American keep the money? No. A beneficiary, named beneficiary, will receive the remaining payments, no matter what. So this will go for five years. So again, a nice peace of mind feature, a nice peace of mind benefit for those clients that are concerned about the, the, the home health care, assisted living, what if. And here's an example. Uh, again, just a screenshot. Versa Choice 10 client puts in $100,000. Let's assume at some point in time, they aren't able to perform those two of six ADLs. 
And let's assume that that happens in year six, where we're maxing this thing out, this benefit enhanced payout. Mrs. Client, you can either use this uh, uh, surrender charge waiver and take a full lump sum of 144000 at that time if you want to, or just a little bit of it, or we'll pay you 125% of that or $180,000 in five equal payments of $36,000. You choose, Mrs. Client, or utilize the, the waiver for a little bit, hold tight, then take the enhanced payout. The choice is yours. So again, some nice flexibility, versatile, very versatile product covering a variety of different needs and wants for clients. And I do want to share a quick sales idea with you on, I mean, other than the positioning stuff we just talked about, for those clients that are concerned about the unexpected or what if something happens and I need my money, for a client that might have, let's assume a $250,000 premium that they want to do something with, there might not be an emergency or something unexpected where they're going to need the, a full $250,000 back, right? And specifically, I'm talking about kind of the return of premium feature. But they want to have access to maybe even more than the 20% that, you know, if something happens, what can we do there? We have a number of clients that are issuing multiple contracts with larger deposits. So in this example, we have a client that is interested in just accumulating as much as they can, but they want the flexibility to have access to a, a decent chunk if something happens or if they just need or want the money. So in this example, let's split up the, the 250 into two contracts. One $175,000 contract with no, no riders at all. We're just going pure accumulation, let that thing grow as much as possible. And then let's purchase a second or at least hit that high band, you know, the high rate band at $75,000 and let's add the enhanced liquidity benefit rider for obviously the ELB or the, uh, the ADL type features, but also the return of premium. So anytime after year two, if a, an emergency pops up or if a, a, something big happens, you know you can at least get $75,000 back of the 250. Let the rest of it sit there and ride and continue to grow. We have no problems or issues with issuing multiple contracts on one single individual. Quick summary, we talked about who's a benefit or who's a, who's a prospect, who's a client for this thing. High level summary, that client that's looking for accumulation, that client that, that is concerned about future health needs, health care costs, nursing home, assisted living, and clients looking for just some peace of mind features and benefits for the expected planned expenditures or in probably more, more likely unexpected or emergencies that might arise over or during their retirement years. I think we've seen Versa Choice covers these very well. Again, a very versatile product. Now we're going to move on. I'm going to move on from the Versa Choice to a very innovative crediting method for today's market. And Tom didn't steal all my thunder up front. He did he briefly talk about this particular strategy. So on the screen, obviously there's a picture. I want you to take a moment, just kind of think about what that actually is. What, what, what does this picture show you? And it, it does have to do with the term that we use in our business. Not, not a phrase, but a term that we use that actually describes or is, is, is dictated by what you see here on your screen. So take a moment and just in your mind, think about what those are you see on your screen. Obviously they're eggs, correct, of some sort, right? What kind of eggs are those? Uh, and I'll tell you, I've had some very interesting answers over the course of uh, probably the, the year that we've done this presentation. I've heard chicken eggs, of course, that, that always comes up. I've heard uh, salamander eggs. I've heard ostrich eggs. And I think the one that takes the cake is I have heard pterodactyl eggs. I honestly have no idea what an ostrich egg looks like, to be uh, uh, honest. I, I really couldn't tell you what a pterodactyl egg looks like, and I don't even know if, if pterodactyls laid eggs for that matter. <laughs> so what you see on the screen here, these are actually goose eggs. Those are goose eggs that you see in that nest. And when we talk to clients about goose eggs or a goose egg, what, what is it that we're referring to? If we say, Mrs. Client, we, we got a goose egg this year. We got a zero on our interest credit, right? The market was down. You didn't lose any money, right? Remember, you can't lose money due to market performance. We got a zero. We got the goose egg. Now, and I said this phrase earlier in the presentation, what phrase do we use at that point in time usually to describe that zero? Hey, Mrs. Klein, even though we got that goose egg, you know, zero is your hero. 
with these index annuity products. And that is true. That is, again, one of the biggest benefits of these products. But Mrs. Client, how can we turn that zero into an even bigger hero for you? Well, with the inverse performance trigger, Mrs. Client, we can do exactly that. Now, I do want to point out one thing uh, Tom mentioned earlier. This strategy, this one specifically, is not available on the VersaChoice pride that we just went over. This is not a crediting method that you can allocate premiums to on the VersaChoice product. It is available on two of our other products, actually kind of three of our uh, other products that we have available for you as well. So what, what does the inverse performance trigger do? Well, as the name implies, if something negative happens, there's a positive outcome. If something negative happens, there's a positive result. So some of you might be familiar with uh, some other, just what, we're, what are called the performance triggers, performance trigger crediting method on some other indices, meaning Mrs. Client, no matter how little or how much the index goes up, you're gonna receive a stated declared rate. It doesn't matter if the index goes up 2% or if it goes up 200%, you get, as an example, a 5% declared rate. This is the same, but in the opposite direction. Here's how this works. Mrs. Client, if the S&P 500 is flat or negative at all, you will receive a positive declared rate for monies you have in this strategy. So keep in mind, this is not something the client has to put all their money in. This, this is just another strategy where they can allocate some of their premium dollars to if they want to. Tom talked about, hey, what did the market do yesterday? Uh, down 600 points. Do you think there is, do you think at some point here in time, there is going to be a correction? Mrs. Client, if you or even you as an agent feel that there is some downside exposure and at some point in time, this thing has to correct, granted index annuities in general are meant to stabilize and prevent any losses in those situations, but why not take advantage of that? Use this strategy and get your client positive returns in a negative market. So again, Mrs. Client, if the S&P 500 is either flat or down at all, it doesn't matter if, it, if it's down 0.2%, 12%, or 22%, if the S&P 500 is flat or down at all, you get a positive declared rate. And here on this example, we're showing a 4% positive declared rate. Now, Mrs. Client, this only works if the market's down or flat. So if the S&P 500 goes up at all, you simply get a zero. But remember, we had some of your premiums allocated to some of those other strategies where we did earn positive interest credits. This one, if you had monies in it, you would have gotten a zero. So as the, as the name or as the little tagline here says, turn that frown upside down. Mrs. Client, let's get you positive returns in a negative market. So think about this. If every year you just have some of your premium allocated to this strategy, I don't care if it's 5%, 10 20 whatever it might be, if you have some allocated to this strategy and other premiums allocated to just the regular S&P 500 index, you will guarantee that every single year they will receive some positive interest credit on their statements. There will never be a zero because if the S&P 500 is positive, those other strategies will return, have interest credits. If the S&P 500 is negative, the inverse performance trigger will provide those positive interest credits. Guarantee you will never have a zero on your client's statement again. Now, we used 4% in this example. Here, I wanted to show you what the actual current declared rates were on those two products. And you're gonna see here a range. Uh, on the retired choice, for example, the range of the current declared rate on the inverse performance trigger is 6.35 to 7.6. So why the difference? Well, the retired choice, you have a 10 and a 14 year surrender charge. You have a high band and a low band premium. So there, there's reasons why, but just know the worst uh, inverse performance declared uh, trigger, 6.35, the highest 7.60%. And on the performance choice, those inverse performance trigger current declared rates range from 550 to 760. So Mrs. Client, how would you like to earn 7.60% positive interest in a negative market? Do you think your client might have an interest in that or they might be like, what, uh, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. So again, if you have clients 
the field of the market has some downside exposure, take advantage and think about allocating some of the premium to the inverse performance trigger. I wouldn't recommend 100% because unless you have the crystal ball, uh, you're not going to know which strategy is going to be the best one. And if you have that crystal ball, if I had the crystal ball, no offense to anybody here, but I can tell you I wouldn't be doing this webinar right now. <laughs> but nobody has the crystal ball. But this is a nice way to hedge against the downside. Uh, you know what, uh, Tom, I got four minutes uh, until a quarter to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go one, over one quick positioning idea here, too, uh, just in, in index annuities in general. Um, and this is an idea or concept that you can use with clients or prospects to help position an index annuity and also, bottom line, is help determine if they are a prospect for an index annuity. Remember at the beginning of my presentation, I said, you know, who's a, who's a prospect for the VersaChoice product? Well, first of all, we have to make sure that the clients are, are prospects for an index annuity in general. That's what this is going to do. We're going to play a game, the game you're all familiar with, right? Uh, I know we've all played tic-tac-toe uh, at some point in our lives. Today, however, and by the way, I'm going to go through this as if I'm you as an agent and I'm talking to a prospect or a client. So, Mrs. Client, I know you've played tic-tac-toe many of times over the years. We're going to play a similar version, except this is going to be a financial version of tic-tac-toe. And Mrs. Client, it's called tic-tac-doe. And the reason we want to play this game, Mrs. Client, is because when we spoke on the phone, you really weren't sure you know, what an index annuity was, what the features and benefits were, if it would be something that, that would be right for some of your retirement assets. So by playing tic-tac-doe, we're going to determine if an index annuity is in fact a good position for some of your retirement money. So Mrs. Klein, let's start on the left-hand side of the screen of our tic-tac-doe board. And I want you to think of products or investments where, uh, where there is some, uh, some, some chances of you possibly losing money and also possibly getting a whole lot of return as well. What, what things come to mind there, Mrs. Klein? Sure, you've got, we've got stocks, right? We've got, you've got, I know you own some mutual funds. Maybe you've got some EFTs or some commodities. So these are all things that uh, we would consider what? These are risky type of products or investments. So, Mrs. Client, what is one of the benefits of these particular products or investments that we have on the left-hand side? Exactly. One of, the, one of the benefits is, hey, we have the opportunity for some huge upside potential, right? On the flip side, what's one of the negatives of these products and investments? Just the opposite, exactly. There's a chance that we can lose a whole lot of money as well, right? That's that negative for so we can gain a whole lot. We also have the potential to lose a whole lot. Let's move over to the right-hand side of the board now. Let's take a look at products or investments that we would consider safe products or investments. And what comes to mind when we think of safe products or investments, Mrs. Client? Yeah, CDs, that always comes up, right? Money markets, maybe some passbook savings account, maybe just a traditional, maybe a multi-year guarantee type annuity. Those are all, again, safe type products. Now, what would be one of the positive features or benefits of those products, Mrs. Client? Exactly, right? The, the nice thing is we have no risk of losing money due to negative market performance. We can't lose any money on this. We might have you know, interest rate risk or inflation risk, but you can't lose money if the market doesn't perform. Now, on the upside or the flip side, what's one of the downsides of these products? Exactly right, Mrs. Klein. Unfortunately, because we can't lose any money, we also don't have the upside potential to gain a whole lot of money either. Now, Mrs. Klein, I know you have products and investments on, on, you know, on both sides of the board. So is, it in, is a, product, a product that might be right for you would, you, would you agree that if we could find a product that gave you the best of both sides of our tic-tac-toe board, would that be something you might be interested in learning a little bit more about? Well, let's do that because, Mrs. Klein, I want to talk to you about a fixed index annuity. And one of the huge benefits of a fixed index annuity, Mrs. Klein, is it offers you the upside, some of the upside potential of the risky products that we talked about. And at the same time, it offers you the downside protection that the safe side of our board provides. Again, Mrs. Klein, when can we sit down and talk to you more specifically about the Versa Choice Index Annuity? with North American Company. So again, just a way to position an index annuity to, to, to determine if the client is in fact a prospect
for an index annuity. And Tom, my goodness, right at 45 minutes. Now you did take five up front. I only went 40, which is what I promised you. Um, yeah. I'm hoping, Tom, that there's some, some questions out there that we might be able to answer. Yeah, absolutely. There's a few questions I think we can get to and then uh, allow everyone to get on with their days here. So a couple quick questions uh, back when you were talking about uh, the Versa Choice and um, uh, the question came up for, is this approved in California and Washington State? And the answer is yes for both. Um, and as a matter of fact, that enhanced liquidity benefit rider that just got approved in California about, I want to say a month or so ago. So yes, the, the product and the writer is available in both states. Excellent, okay. And uh, you're talking about the, um, the return of premium. Uh, if that is used, is, is what is the chargeback provision? Yeah, that, that, that's probably the most common question I do get when talking about the return of premium. So the return of premium, remember, you cannot utilize until after the second contract year the Versa Choice product has a one-year chargeback provision. So there's no way you will have a chargeback of commissions if the client ever utilizes the ROP because you can't utilize it until after the second year. Okay, excellent. Um, let's see. Can you use the ADL benefits intermittently? Uh, so yeah, so on the, uh, the ADL-based features or benefits, those two that are provided by the rider, you can use the surrender charge waiver if you can't perform two of six ADLs. That allows you, again, access to as little or as much of your accumulation value. And then what you can do is wait and, and hold on till you know, later years, maybe the fourth, fifth, sixth year, where then you can maximize that ADL-based enhanced accumulation value payout and really get 120, 125% of the accumulation value. So you can use them sort of intermittently. Just remember once you do if you do utilize the enhanced payout ADL feature, that is done. You're basically annuitizing the contract at that point over a five-year period. Okay, and and on the advanced payout, how it increased by five percent, uh, you showed the on the screen uh, year six it being at 125 percent. How many how many years does that increase by five percent? So I, I just use that as an example. So if I if you look at, we're giving you basically 25 percent of our money right? Because we're paying your accumulation value and then enhance that to 25% more. It has to be taken over a five-year period. So that's where I've got to the kind of the about a 5% average annual return if you if you look at it that way. Um, but I, I mean, that, that's not the exact numbers, but the, just in general, at 125% of your account value over five years, you're getting in a 5% free uh, money, North Americans money over that period of time. So I hope that makes sense. Yes. Okay, and then um, obviously you covered the uh, 50 basis points on the uh, return of premium benefit. Um, the question was, what is the basic annual fee? Uh, so real quick, let us just remind everybody that the enhanced liquidity benefit rider that costs 50 basis points provides you all four, well, two and possibly all four of the benefits, uh, which is the enhanced uh, penalty free withdrawal, the return of premium, and the two ADL-based features. All four of those come in that one rider at 50 basis points. There's no separate charge for, you know, like the ROP feature isn't 20 basis points, and the enhanced liquidity is 15. It's 50 bips, all four of those benefits. And then the other question was, what is the uh, just standard or normal fee? Uh, there, there really is no other explicit charge. Um, if you happen to utilize one of the strategies where there's a margin or spread, uh, obviously that margin or spread is deducted from the index returns prior to being allocated to your account before interest credits, but that, that's not really considered a fee or a charge. Just, yeah, the, just the 50 basis points if you add the enhanced liquidity benefit rider. Thank you for that. Okay, that, that appears to be all of the questions here uh, that I have at this moment. If we haven't gotten to your question, um, we will be following up with you. Uh, I want to thank everyone for joining us on the call today. Thank you for our active producers for joining us, your your ongoing commitment and partnership. Again, if you're not yet contracted with Insurance Network America or North American, our ask of you is that you give us an opportunity to earn your business. Um, we will be following up uh, for everyone on the call to get these materials in your hands. However, 
you've got a client in mind or if you have other questions, please don't wait. Again, our number to reach us is 800-456-7999. And again, I want to thank everyone. Hope you have a terrific Tuesday. Thank you, Casey and Lane. Uh, and uh, that is it. Thanks, Thanks Tom. Thank us. you again, everybody. Bye-bye now.